Cancer Prevention, Wikipedia Article Audio Cancer prevention is defined as active measures to decrease the risk of cancer. The vast majority of cancer cases are due to environmental risk factors, and many, but not all, of these environmental factors are controllable lifestyle choices. Greater than 75% of cancer deaths could be prevented by avoiding risk factors including, tobacco, overweight slash obesity, an insufficient diet, physical inactivity, alcohol, sexually transmitted infections, and air pollution. Not all environmental causes are controllable, such as naturally occurring background radiation, and other cases of cancer are caused through hereditary genetic disorders and thus it is not possible to prevent all cases of cancer. Anyone can get cancer, the age is one of the biggest factors that can make a person more likely to get cancer, 3 out of 4 cancers are found in people aged 55 or older. The Concerned Dietary while many dietary recommendations have been proposed to reduce the risk of cancer, the evidence to support them is not definitive. The primary dietary factors that increase risk are obesity and alcohol consumption, with the diet low in fruits and vegetables and high in red meat being implicated but not confirmed. A 2014 meta-analysis did not find a relationship between fruits and vegetables and cancer. Consumption of coffee is associated with a reduced risk of liver cancer. Studies have linked excessive consumption of red or processed meat to an increased risk of breast cancer, colon cancer, and pancreatic cancer a phenomenon which could be due to the presence of carcinogens in meats cooked at high temperatures. Dietary recommendations for cancer prevention typically include an emphasis on vegetables, fruit, whole grains, and fish, and an avoidance of processed and red meat, animal fats, and refined carbohydrates. Research shows that regular physical activity helps to reduce up to 30% the risk of a variety of cancer types, such as colon cancer, breast cancer, lung cancer, and endometrium cancer. The biological mechanisms underlying this association are still not well understood but different biological pathways involved in cancer have been studied suggesting that physical activity reduces cancer risk by helping weight control, reducing hormones such as estrogen and insulin, reducing inflammation, and strengthening the immune system. The concept that medications can be used to prevent cancer is attractive and evidence supports their use in a few defined circumstances. In the general population, NSAIDs reduce the risk of colorectal cancer however due to the cardiovascular and gastrointestinal side effects they cause overall harm when used for prevention. Aspirin has been found to reduce the risk of death from cancer by about 7%. COX-2 inhibitor may decrease the rate of polyp formation in people with familial adenomatous polyposis however are associated with the same adverse effects as NSAIDs. Daily use of tamoxifen or raloxifene has been demonstrated to reduce the risk of developing breast cancer in high-risk women. The benefit versus harm for 5-alpha reductase inhibitor such as finasteride is not clear. Vitamins have not been found to be effective at preventing cancer, although low blood levels of vitamin D are correlated with increased cancer risk. Whether this relationship is causal and vitamin D supplementation is protective is not determined. Beta-carotene supplementation has been found to increase lung cancer rates in those who are high risk. Folic acid supplementation has not been found effective in preventing colon cancer and may increase colon polyps. It is unclear if selenium supplementation has an effect. Vaccines have been developed that prevent infection by some carcinogenic viruses. 
human papillomavirus vaccine decreases the risk of developing cervical cancer. The hepatitis B vaccine prevents infection with hepatitis B virus and thus decreases the risk of liver cancer. The administration of human papillomavirus and hepatitis B vaccinations is recommended when resources allow. Physical Activity Dahl and Pito, in their large landmark 1981 study estimated that 75 euro 80% of cancers in the United States could be prevented by avoidance of 11 different factors. A 2013 review of more recent cancer prevention literature by Scottenfeld ETAL, summarizing studies reported between 2000 and 2010, points to most of the same avoidable factors identified by Dahl and Pito. However, Scottenfeld ETAL considered fewer factors in their review than Dahl and Pito and indicated that avoidance of these fewer factors would result in prevention of 60% of cancer deaths. The table indicates the proportions of cancer deaths attributed to different factors, summarizing the observations of Dahl and Pito, Schadenfeld ETAL and several other authors. The table shows that the major lifestyle factors to avoid to prevent cancer are tobacco, a deleterious diet, obesity, and carcinogenic infections. Asterisk included in diet Medication A euro carcinogenic infections include, for the uterine cervix, liver, and hepatitis C virus, stomach, lymphoid tissues, nasopharynx, urinary bladder, and biliary tract. Vaccination Preventable Causes of Cancer